Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here reporting live from my basement. I would say my mama's basement, but I haven't lived with my mom since I was 19. And actually, technically, um, she doesn't have a basement. She has a cellar. Yeah, she has a cellar because you guys have seen all the canned goods and things that are in her cellar. So I'm definitely not there, and I haven't lived there since I was 19. And since I'm 56, soon to be 57, that's been quite a while ago. And technically, I guess it's not really my basement. I would say it's mine and my wife Tracy's basement, although this is kind of like my spot, you know, because it's kind of like she doesn't mess with me. She's giving up hope. She's like, you just got too much shit down there. I just don't want to see it. So this is kind of my space. Well, actually, technically, um, it's also the banks because we do own the house with the banks until we make all those, you know, payments with like 360 payments and stuff on there. So I guess this is my basement, my wife's and the bank's basement. It, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what it is. And we're reporting live here from our basement. And we have some news on the Dallas Cowboys. A couple of things. The Cowboys are currently on the practice field right now, but they have actually signed to the practice squad and understand signing guys to the practice squad. The practice squad, because of COVID, grew to uh, 17 players, where now you can take players back and forth off the practice squad. And actually, it's a way of actually ramping players up to get them in a position to actually play on the field. But the Cowboys have signed a a center slash guard from the Seattle Seahawks uh, to their practice squad, a Dakota Shipley. Interesting, just like the quarterback, Dakota uh, Shipley. Uh, Dakota is a guy who's actually played in nine career games with not a single start um, from him in his career. Uh, three-year career in the NFL. What do we know about Mr. Shipley? Let's go to actually Wikipedia and pull out everything that we have here. He was actually on the New York Jets. I guess he was uh, picked up by the Jets originally in 2018, uh, played in the Canadian League 2018 through 19, was on the San Francisco 49ers in 2020, and then was picked up by the Seattle Seahawks and was currently with them until now being signed by the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys, and he has played in a total of nine games. Uh, Shipley um, is uh, a pretty good size guy. He is um, six foot five, 317 pounds. He's tall. You know the Cowboys, they like their length and stuff. 317 pounds, can play guard, has been a guard, but was uh, on the roster as a um, center. Um, when he was drafted by uh, the Canadian Football League, he was a first-round draft pick, the number five pick. And, uh, of course, in the NFL, he went undrafted, undrafted rookie free agent. So maybe this will be a guy, one of those kind of guys that the Cowboys get that people say, who? Oh, man, the Cowboys, they don't care about winning, man. They keep signing these bum-ass players, you know, like Terrence Steele. Terrence Steele was a rookie undrafted free agent that the Cowboys signed, and he's now our starting tackle. You know, we, we made moves like J. Ron Curse, another one of those guys. Oh, man, I mean, this bum, get him out of here. He's now actually the green dot guy, the general on the field for the Dallas Cowboys on the dirt cheap because he's only $3 million a year. So the Cowboys have been good, and as a matter of fact, I believe they have four Four players, am I correct on it? Four undrafted free agents that they kept on the roster that some look pretty, pretty good. So I won't exactly uh, poo-poo this guy. I'm going to give him a chance. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, my throat, after talking about four <coughs> minutes or so, gets kind of dry. So forgive me with a little bit of cough. Usually I have a little bit of water here. Oh to wet my whistle so i need to get some before the next update also kevin joseph aka boss man fat uh, who's in the fourth stage of concussion protocol is on the sidelines working out with trainers not in pads or anything like that but he appears to be in the fourth stage of it so uh, non-contact drills but they're ramping him up the fifth phase would of course be him actually getting back on the field other good news um we have, uh, of course, um, Jason Peters is supposed to come in today uh, for a workout. Now, because the Cowboys have signed uh, 
uh, Damon Shipley, I'm sorry, uh, Dakota Shipley and Quadre Olson to the practice squad. Right now, there is not a space for Jason Peters. That means somebody else would have to be released for him to be signed. So we will uh, keep an eye out on that to see, you know, if somebody else gets released and that kind of lets you know that Jason Peters is going to be signed. Um, finally, finally, here's some more good news on Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup, um, who is rehabbing, who did not get put on IR or the pup list for the Dallas Cowboys to start the season. He is actually on the active roster. Now, before y'all go crazy and say, oh, man, he's going to be ready to play week one. He's not going to be ready to play week one. He's not. Um, think about what the Cowboys did with Anthony Barr. Um, and if they do sign Jason Peters, it will be the same protocol. What they do is they're going to ramp him up. Instead of just saying, okay, you're full go in practice, you're going to work them up to being practice ready and getting them up to game speed. It's still probably a couple more weeks away. The good thing is we still have a week and a half before our first game. That's some time for him to get in some work. And then you start looking and saying, okay, let's get another week or two behind him before they actually throw him out there. And the same would be holding true. Uh, if they signed Jason Peters, they would end up doing that same ramping up, working on his conditioning. He he says he's been working out and getting and staying in shape and stuff. But there's only one way to really get ready for football, and that's actually playing football, which still mystifies me that the NFL um, does what they do as far as practice. But again, that was to appease the players so that way they could get that 17 game season. Uh, you know, less practice, more games. Yeah, that's a great great way to go ahead and keep guys healthy. Um, but back to Michael Gallup, um, his conditioning, according to Mike McCarthy, looks great and that he's very, very close to being ready to be on the field. So as Mike McCarthy says, he's been hitting every target. His rehab's been going smooth. There's been no setbacks. Uh, he's out on the field doing more band work and uh, not, not as in like, you know, the music band, the bands as in the bungee chords. Um, to go ahead and start getting that strength and getting uh, some exercise and stuff in and plenty of stretching. So that's where we are right now. The Cowboys going through practice and stuff, and um, we'll see what happens the rest of the day. Still, we have not yet heard anything about what time Jason Peters will be in for his workout uh, slash physical and or signing. And we'll see where we go from here. I'm Mark Holmes reporting live from my basement. You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. Get out. Because it matters.